Hey guys, look who's got a new movie coming out! Deadpool! Well, technically it doesn't really have another new Deadpool movie in a sense. It's not uh, Deadpool 3, don't get your hopes up too high. It's actually a sort of recut of the, fir the, the second one, Deadpool 2. In the but it's done in the style of a Christmas movie. And in the style of The Princess Bride, if you remember the uh, beloved classic that you, that you should have seen by now. And if you haven't, you're a terrible person for not enjoying such a wonderful modern classic. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, the movie starts with um, this little kid played by a very young Fred Savage. And his father, his grandfather shows up to visit him when he's sick. And he's reading him the story of The Princess Bride. Then from that moment on, it's basically the entire story is the actual movie with little uh, cut-ins and intermissions uh, going back to the the, the 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 boy and his grandfather saying, "Hey, why why does that happen? Why are they uh, kissing in this scene? Why is the and also the movie ends with the grandfather closing the book and uh, saying that's." The end. It's a very, it's a classic, it's a wonderful, wonderful movie, and Deadpool apparently seems to be following that approach with his movie, which is very interesting thing. Uh, it's going to be a PG-13 movie, apparently um, they want to test the waters, they want to see if Deadpool can work as a PG-13 character, because, well, apparently Disney's going to buy them in a few short months. Maybe even less than a less than a, less than a year, I think. So we're trying to see if Deadpool can work like that. And uh, another reason that Ryan Reynolds specifically uh, specified was that he really wanted to kidnap Fred Sa Fred Savage. By the way, uh, Fred Savage himself is going to be in this movie, and they've recutted and re-edited this movie in certain ways, where Deadpool is reading the story of the first movie to Fred Savage, who's now an older man, playing a young version of himself like in the movie. And a bunch of really crazy shenanigans that are gonna, apparently going to change a lot of the scenes to fit within the uh, PG-13 model. I thought it sounded a very interest, like a very interesting uh, uh, premise at first. A lot of people... Uh, thought it just seemed like a cash grab that they weren't doing this for the money. There is no re real reason for doing this. First of all, and every movie ever is always being made for money. Let's just agree to accept that. But second of all, they uh, announced that um, one dollar from each uh, ticket sold from this movie will be donated for uh, cancer research, which which is just as noble a cause as you can uh, get, because Deadpool himself, for those of you who don't know, he's suffering from cancer, and it's a terrible, terrible disease, by the way, it's, uh, it's a plague on humanity that needs to be uh, taken away, and uh, apparently Deadpool is being a uh, the hero that we all never never even figured he could be and he's fighting cancer now so this is a very important cause um, so if you if you if uh, once upon a deadpool that's the name of the uh, the movie by the way once upon a deadpool if that movie is uh, playing in a theater near you please go out and support it probably probably for the laughs yeah probably if you did if you, if you didn't enjoy the movie if you didn't if you don't like Deadpool as a character or comic books in, in, in general, just always remember that cancer is a terrible thing that needs to be get rid of. And uh, it's a very noble cause that Ryan Reynolds is doing this, so please go out and support it. I really hope it's uh, playing somewhere in my country, even though I, I really don't think so, because, well, we don't exactly celebrate Christmas as a national holiday, even though we technically invented Christmas, but... That's all semantics right now. So let's watch the trailer. I don't even know why because I already saw the movie twice, three times, four times. I don't even remember. And I really like it. 
But apparently they've done some re- re-editing, so uh, it'll be fun to see uh, what they did with this. Let's go. Right before Christmas, a good guy in red <laughs> is coming to theaters with his new sidekick, Fred. <laughs> Why am I here? You're in a PG-13 version of Deadpool. Filtered <laughs> through the prism of childlike innocence. I'm a grown And nobody man. does childlike innocence like you, Fred. Nobody. I need you almost as much as you need me. I don't need you at all. You need me to untie you once we're done. <laughs> <laughs> My way! I loved your working up. I'm sorry? What? <laughs> Once upon a Deadpool. Kind of prefer Marvel movies. We are Marvel. Yeah, but you're, you know, Marvel licensed by Fox. It's like if the Beatles were produced by Nickelback. It's music. Oh, shit. It sucks. Whoa! Whoa! Nice for as a kid. Rated PG-13. Limited engagement in theaters December 12th. Now they actually got Tom Kane to voice the trailer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Not exactly what I was expecting, but then again, it's Deadpool. It's never what you're expecting. So, again, guys, very noble cause and very nice looking trailer. It looks like the recutting and the re-editing is going to come up a lot. I did recognize a few uh, scenes from the movie, but I also recognized a few new shots that we haven't seen before. Especially, obviously, the Fred Savage stuff. And they, and they did a wonderful job in recreating that room from the movie. Other than that, I really don't know much to say except go and watch the movie for your enjoyment, for the um, Christmas spirit, and because it, it's for a really good cause. Again, guys, I really hope that Once Upon a Deadpool is playing in Israel right now. You know, the place where Christmas was born. Just saying. So, yeah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hello again, everybody. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel where I do all kinds of weird stuff like showcase all these things, you know, trailer reactions, movie reviews, all kinds of fun stuff. So, until next time, I'll see you guys next time.